Okay guys, in this video we're going to be looking at behaviors. So <clears throat> what behaviors is essentially is just some, um, let's just have a look at them, is some preset things or preset settings that will kind of make things move around a little bit and jump around and stuff. So again, I don't use these much. If you hover over them, you get a, a pretty good idea of what's going to be happening with them. Ideal for uh, text, really, although you can use them on uh, video and you can use them on images but what we're going to do is just go to annotations and go to um, a plain text one like this one down here and we're just going to drag it out here for the amount of time we're going to double click our cursor in and we're going to put some test text here I'm going to drag this out so it's on one line okay Let's just put it right in the middle there, like that. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to come back to the animations, uh, behaviors, sorry. And again, <clears throat> you know, it's, you may as well just uh, throw something in and test it and see what looks good. Uh, let's go for this explode one here. Just going to drag it down and drop it on the media that we want to use it on. Then, if we hit play, we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, you see it all comes in, let's just drag a little bit and then it should all go back out again at the end. So as with everything else, we've got properties. <coughs> um, whenever you add one of these effects and things to a piece of media down here, you'll see this small arrow. So here, if we click that, then we get the, um, we get the properties just for that. If I hit the actual piece of media there, you can see we've got these tabs here, so it's a little bit more uh, complex or in depth so let's just click the explode one so we've got in during out so there's three different um, three different areas of setting so in here is where it's flying in during here is when it's just sat there and then out is when it flies back out so <clears throat> you can change the you know the kind of the, well, the movement they call it there Speed, let's just wind down this speed a bit and let's just see. So it goes out a lot more slowly there because I think how they add it is a little bit fast. Like that. Okay, during style. Let's, uh, let's have it pulsate in the middle, see what that does. So you can see it's just rippling a bit. So it's pretty eye catching. If you're using text, then it could be. Well, good let's try smooth on the movement for the way out not much different got to be honest uh, loop time scale wow I see haven't actually used some of these settings but that's pretty bonkers <clears throat> what was that scale Okay, you can make it loop, you can make it loop forever. But of course, the best thing, to, and if you want to remove, say you've tested one of these, you don't like it, if you actually click on it, so we come back to here, click this little arrow, click here, right click, you can copy it and you can paste it somewhere else, or we can remove it like that. And then we can bring another one in and try another one and see how good that is. <clears throat> so as with anything, uh, best thing to do is just throw it in, test it, and then hit properties over here or hit this one here and then just mess around with the properties and then you'll soon pick that up as well it's pretty straightforward um, and that's about it for these so I'll just show you one uh, let's just grab an image let's just have a look at one of these with an image just to show you that we'll work on images and stuff uh, see how this one boom so it's actually pretty cool there on be good if you had lots of photos and you're doing a photo slideshow so yep yeah, that's it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now thanks for watching the video to watch the next one click right here and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here